Do you think they will leave their problem, like current problem, Charlie, over 150 people have lost their lives and come to support your singleton just because you expected them to? This is an update on why Nigerians were quiet about this singleton by Ifua Asantua. Some Ghanaians commented under my recent video stating that no Ghanaian was seeking for Nigerian support. I even attached evidence in the recent video, but some Ghanaians insisted spreading lies. So in this video, I'm bringing you new evidence. Let's get right into it. I'm back again. I'm back again. We all know Ghanaians hate it when someone tells them the truth straight in their faces. I made a video discussing why Ghanaians shouldn't seek support from the Nigerians, citing their support for AFN saying Hilda Bassi. I mentioned that Ghanaians are often involved in Nigerian affairs instead of like focusing on their own. If we recall, they tried or they have banned Nigerian music this December. They were talking about 80-20, not knowing they meant 100% playing of local music for the diasporans and the people coming to your friends and spend their holidays in Ghana. As we know, Ifia Asantua has broken the record and has set a new one. Whilst this singer was ongoing, a couple bloggers and content creators were trying to paint Nigerian black just because they think, say, it is necessary for Nigerians to support them because they supported Hilda Bassi do, during this cookathon. I made a video to defend the Nigerians because to me, support is voluntary. Bro, you can't expect them to support you just because you did for them before. And now I say just because you did during this cookathon. They can decide to support you if they want. And you expecting support from Whoever crown, it's like you giving them job to do. You can't tell them what to do. They will do it if they want. That's all what I said. And some Ghanaians were attacking me and I meant this statement just as I said in the recent video. Like bro, Ghanaians didn't even do proper promotion for this singer tongue bro. Like look at the amount of sponsors they got comparing to the Nigerians when Heda Basi was doing this cookathon. Nigerians put money into promotion. Nigerians spent time in promotion. Not say they stood up and do whatever. They are strategical people. They think before they take or make a move. Ghana just stand up and do anything and expect a huge like support or whatever. Charlie, it doesn't work like that. Do proper promotion, make it entertaining, and the support will come naturally without any expectations. During this cookathon by Hilda Bassi, I never saw a Nigerian expecting other African countries to support. You did it because you were interested and loved it due to its entertainment value. So Ghanaians, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Right now, a self-proclaimed prophet Nigel Gazy has entered the chat. This is what he posted on his Facebook page talking about Nigerians not supporting this singer tone by Ifua Asantua. I read, Alas, have you chanced on any Nigerian celebrity or blogger posting about Ifua's singer tone? But Ghanaians don't make we sleep when it was Heda. Let's learn to mind our business and promote ours. Yours is yours. They have practiced a culture of supporting their own, no matter what. In his post, he was also talking about prophets hating each other. He was simply urging Ghanaians to use their energy on their own people. But at the beginning, you know, he was simply saying that Nigerians didn't support us, but during their time, you people didn't let us sleep. Instead of putting your energy into your friends, say Nigerians, asking them for support or seeking them for support, you know, support your own. Put the same energy because in his statement, he even said, say, the Nigerians have practiced a culture of supporting their own. And it is right. You gotta make sure your people are straight. But Ghanaians, like their people are in straight, but they are seeking for other people's help. Charlie, as if the Nigerians don't have their own problem, bro. Like recently, I think yesterday or something, over 150 people died. I hope I pronounced the, the area right, plateau. Like it was sometime, something like a tribal war and I said Bibisa. Do you think they will leave their problem, like current problem, Charlie? Over 150 people have lost their lives and come to support your singer just because you expected them to?
Bro, as if your singer tongue is more important than the life they have lost. Bro, let it make sense. But this information, crap, none of you have posted it. But you want them or expect them to come support your singer tongue, bro. Let it make sense. The Nigerians are living their life, bro. They are concentrated on themselves. So you Ghanaians also be concentrated on yourselves. Don't expect people. And to those people that are commenting and saying, we didn't expect Nigerians to help and answer to support. No, bro, stop lying to yourselves. You people know the truth. As if I'm sitting here throwing out lies. No, bro. I attach in each, in each video an evidence. So let's set our priorities right. Stick to the truth. And then... It is easier for you to tell the truth than to tell lies because telling lies, nigga, bro, you got to like mind how you even form your sentences or you got to mind how you even speak. But telling the truth, actually, it flows like <laughs> old spams. Write your opinion in the comment section. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.